Hello, this is Zoli Smith, and I will be discussing Gail Jones. Gail Jones was born November 23, 1949, to a lower class family in Lexington, Kentucky. Because of her mother's love for writing and storytelling, Gail Jones was inspired to become a writer at a young age. It was first noticed that Gail would bloom as a great writer at her predominantly white school, where she then exceeded the students' and staff's expectations as a creative writer. To continue her education to be a better writer, after high school, she received a bachelor's in English at Connecticut College, where she was intrigued and inspired by other Black women writers. She then went to Brown University as a graduate student to study creative writing under Michael Harper. Mr. Harper introduced her work to Toni Morrison, who was then captivated by Gail's writing and stated how even after reading Gail's work, how Black women's writing will never be the same. Around this same time, she married Bob Higgins, whom she met teaching at Michigan University. Her husband, however, caused controversy by committing multiple crimes and they fled to Europe, where she still continued to write. Throughout the years, Gail Jones' writing explored the themes of violence and sexuality within the Black community. In her works, she also takes on her mother's roots and takes elements from oral storytelling and music. Gail Jones has three notable novels, which include Koregi Dora, Eva's Man, and The Healing. In all three stories, Jones uses dialogue and music to help better illustrate the characters and their psyches. For example, in The Healing, the book uses barely any punctuation and is just a flowing dialogue. And in both Karegi Dora and in The Healing, Jones uses the blues and music in general. But in Karegi Dora, the blues is used in multiple ways. One is that Ursa was a blues singer who wanted to sing and help convey to other generations her pain, and also uses the blues to help escape her traumatic generational past. In Karegi Dora and Eva's Man, the theme of violence and sexuality within the Black community is very apparent. In Karegi Dora, the character Ursa, who was the descendant of a slave owner, had to overcome the sexual trauma placed on her and her descendants and learn to have healthy relationships with the men again. And Eva's man is similar to Kuragidora since the main character also deals with early on sexual trauma. But the novel The Healing goes in the opposite direction, starting from the end and ending at the beginning, showing Harlan's regression from being a healer to all of her pain in the beginning, which includes the loss of her husband. Furthermore, Gail Jones's novels dealt with the problems within the Black community from slavery to present, which included generational trauma, sexuality, and violence, and used different literary styles to help further illustrate those themes within her novels, including a storytelling-like dialogue to help the reader further understand the characters and their pain. Because of her amazing literary skills, Gail Jones received recognition for her work, which included being a National Book Award finalist for the novel The Healing, a Howard Foundation Award, and a Mademoiselle Fiction Award. She also received grants and endowments, which included the National Endowment of the Arts and grants from the Schubert and the Southern Fellowship Foundation.